How is it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? Ay, 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 ay. The Red Wings have been giving us a lot of hope for the upcoming season, and not even to mention Maurice Sider and Lucas Raymond. As it stands, at the time of this recording, the Red Wings are 3-2 in the preseason and have a game against the Columbus Blue Jackets tonight. So, first off, Lucas Raymond has been lights out. So far, he definitely has been noticed by Detroit fans and around the league. But after the game against the Chicago Blackhawks, Raymond had earned two goals, four assists for six points in three games played in the preseason. He has looked so comfortable playing against and with NHL regulars, making passes and plays you wouldn't expect a 19 year old to make, and his shot has been thoroughly impressive, especially for a playmaker. Iserman's decision as to whether Raymond starts in the NHL or the AHL is becoming easier as with every point in every game, Raymond gives him more reason, especially with Vrana out for around four months and Bertuzzi having yet to make a preseason debut, there certainly will be a hole in the top six that Raymond can fit into. Now, adding on to that impressive feat of Raymond, look at our own power play. This is not the same power play from last season that finished second from last in the entire league with a whopping 11.4% conversion rate. People noticed the new style of moving the players around after getting set up and having more plays than just a simple drop pass and rush into the zone. It's been breathing new life into the team. And the game between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Detroit Red Wings is a sign of what the power play could look like this season, where they recorded four power play goals. Not even to mention that Marit Seider and Lucas Raymond either scored or assisted on each of those power play goals. Speaking of Seider, you can't tell me he doesn't look good. Finally, donning the red and white jersey. He has looked oh so comfortable and quarterbacking the power play, he has been able to control the play and set up more plays for his D partners like Letty and Hronik, not even to mention Raymond and Larkin who have been flourishing with the newfound support especially Hironic. In my opinion, he seems to be playing better with less pressure on him to be the Detroit Red Wings' best defenseman. Now, do I think Raymond will be the best rookie in Detroit this year? I'm not 100% sold. Do I think he's great and should play in the NHL right now? Yes, sir, without a doubt. But I have a feeling as the season goes on, the big bad bruiser, Marit Seider, will be able to handle the roughness better than Raymond can and become more comfortable as he plays more NHL games. But that's enough from me. We want to know your thoughts. Who will be the better rookie and do they win the Calder Trophy? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, drop a like so we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Detroit Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful Red Wing Nation community. And until next time, lights out in the red light district.